Now here it's very clear about the sacrifices of praise. Now the sacrifices of praise that we had last ended off on, touching on, is contained in this prophetic book, Hosea, Hosea chapter 14 and verse 2, where it's speaking of, let's just write this down as, as new, you understand, sacrifice. In other words, this is really the New Testament, I'll write this, New Testament sacrifice. What is the New Testament sacrifice? Because we're, talk, we're talking a lot scripturally on the sacrifices of, and the symbology of the bull and the, the ox and the, and the lamb and the goat. Mm. But in the New Testament sense, because we're still on the subject matter of Deuteronomy, 16 and 16, Deuteronomy 16 and 16, and the church of men only, or the gatherings, these three gatherings of all the males of the Beit Israel, that the males of the Beit Israel, we as black Hebrews, and as let Rastafari, are to gather at three times. Now, we've touched on what these three times actually were, and what these three times actually are. Mm. Now, when we go to Hosea, let's go to the prophet Hosea. Let's turn our Bibles to Hosea, chapter 14. Now, in Hosea, chapter 14, it speaks about the sacrifices. But it speaks about the sacrifices in a new or a renewed, a renewed way. Now, let's go over this um, in English, and we're going to refer to it in the Metaph Caduce of his Imperial Majesty of them Hard Bible, the Emperor's Bible. But first, let's deal with King James. Chapter 14, from verse 1, it says, O Israel, return to the Lord thy God. Return to Yahweh your Elohim, the true Elohim, the true Hashem, Baruch Hu. For thou hast fallen, black man has fallen. By thine what? Iniquity. So he says, Israel is my son. I've called him out of that black land, Egypt, because he too is a black man. Period. I mean, that, that, that's, that's a, a period there, full stop. But we have fallen, since fallen by virtue or the lack thereof, of our iniquity. And iniquity is rebellion. Now, Bamarinya says, Israel hoy. Return, return. Now, you might hear of um, Jews speaking of the Aliyah, Aliyah, which is, which is the return to Israel, or coming out of wherever they are in the world, and they return and they gather to Israel, and they ingather and they work together, and they cooperate, and they build their society, you understand, with our identity, but that they take on as their own identity, and the Almighty is um, not partial. Those who do his will, you understand, he does bless, period. Now, the second verse is important, because the second verse now mentions this new sacrifice, or we can say the new sacrifices, you understand? Not debtors, not animals, as it was in the Belui Kidan, or the Old Covenant, but the Old Covenant is an important study for us as the Rastafari Sabbatical Studies and Sabbatical Scrolls is very important. Now, this particular one that we're in in this present time is number 47. That's known as Re'e. Re, re in the Hebrew, or the, the Hebrewish in a sense. And in Ethiopic, that re, as we already mentioned, is the ra'i. And ra'i means the vision. Bamarinya is inehu. Inehu, in other words, look, behold, look, and sight. Like we have the Rastafari say, you sight, you, you seen, you sight. Inehu, look and sight, behold. Here it is. Here, actually, he is. Here it is. And we know that what Moses is saying in Deuteronomy 11 and 26 is, 
I set before you this day the the barakat and the uh, and and the rigum of, for blessing and, and curse. So choose this day blessing if you obey, if you shema, if you hear, if you hear shema Yisrael, Yahweh Eloheinu, Yahweh Achad. If you hear, you understand. If you hear, but a uh, curse. If you forsake, if you go astray, if you follow after other gods, and that has been our sad and woeful example. But in 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 a in a, in a happy way, it fulfills prophecy. Yahweh is true. We did do those things that did happen. It identifies who we are, so forth and so on. So we need to get over that, and we need to get in a state of obedience, as His Majesty teaches us, as Kedemawi Hadassalasi teaches us. We need to make our wills obedient to good influences and to avoid evil. And the teaching that we're teaching on Ephraim and Manasseh and Joseph's sons is a very important teaching. We hope to post it up there soon because it speaks on these two faculties that are represented by the two sons of Yosef, namely Manasseh and Ephraim, Manasseh and Ephraim, which come down to the faculties of understanding and will, respectively, or, or denial, forgetfulness and denial of that which is not good, you understand? And a willingness, you understand, to make our wills, our individual wills, obedient to the good influences of the Memphis Kedusa, the Ruach HaKodesh, and the, the teaching of his majesty contained in the scripture. You understand? So the second verse now of Hosea chapter 14 says, Kanantagar kalin wussedu wode gizyabi harima temelisacho. Khatiyatin kulu as wagad be chornetim te kebelen be weya fenema fanta ye kena farach nena freyen setalen. Now the Targum, or the translation of that according to King James, and this is um, the verse that we are studying right now, Hosea 14 and 2, which is speaking of the new sacrifices. Now, see, this is in tune with Rastafari revelation. Because the new sacrifices basically say no debtors. You know what I'm saying? No debtors or no meat, no animal flesh, no more. In other words, no more. No more animal flesh. So Peter, Peter and other associations like that, um, because of their focus on that, they do they do, they do some 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 good there. But we know that a lot of the so-called um, other Jews, you know, saying they are looking actually to build the the third temple of Solomon so they can reinstitute. They believe that there needs to be a reinstitution of the blood rituals and the animal sacrifice, and that go on the heading of. Um, of, 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 of Jewish ritual sacrifices, you understand? And there's been some cases that's all a part of that, you understand? Because that is where they stray from the true teaching of the tin beat and the prophet, the Jews who call themselves Jews. But truly the prophet Hosea said in 14 and 2, he said that take with you words, take with you words, take with you, take with you, take with you where? Because remember, there is 16 and 16, there is the Shalosh Regalim. There are the three pilgrim festivals for all the males of the Beit Israel, the church of men only, right? Then these three times, as we know, is one is, is Passover, the Feast of Unleavened Bread, is...